Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch. And this is our part 27th of this video session series in which we will make our menus and some menus while plugin activation. Okay, so what we have did so far, we have created our custom plugin and the plugin we can find into our list. Also, we have included in the last video sessions about our means assets file of CSS and JS files. In this video session, we will see that when we activate our plugin, then we will find our menu section into this list. Okay, so to include the menu list in into this section, we need to make use of add new add menu page and add sub menu page. Okay, these two all functions provided by WordPress, which basically includes the menu sections at this left sidebar. Okay, so back to our editor. Let's add those menus first. So just make use of a function like function my book plugin menus. Okay, and now I'm going to use action hook also. Add action and something called admin menu. Okay. And finally, the function name that we have given, just a copy of that and paste it here. So we have made a function, hook that function with add menu action hook, which basically fires and add our custom menu to this left sidebar of this administrator panel. Okay, so we are going to use this add menu page method and sorry function and add sub menu function. Okay, so just I'm going to use that add menu page okay and basically it takes us from like page title so let's say about it's my book okay and the second parameter should be menu title it's also my book and then our third thing is capability it's manage option okay options and the next thing is that we need to pass about its, its menu slug so let's say about book list okay and the next parameter is callback function so let's say about my book list this is the callback function that we need to call when clicking on this link and this icon url so to use of icon url we need to use of dash icons website okay dash icons means developer.wordpress.org this is the official website also provided by wordpress to find our means icons okay so i'm going to use the icon something like that and we are going to find a book and this is the book that we need to go to use okay just i'm clicking on this means dash icons book alt okay so just copy this name and go to your plugin and within codes just add it here okay and the next we need to pass our position so where is the position that we need to attach our plugin menu okay so to find the appropriate position just scroll this list and in this list you can find that these all that the defined system of wordpress has the position of that like dashboard is at two post is at five media and so on so these all are defined some menus or menus link of wordpress so we want that after appearances it will work or either you can say after comment section okay so comment section let's 25 so we need to pass 30 or 26 27 either you want okay so let's pass 30 okay so by using 30 we are going to attach our my book menu page underneath of comment section okay so just save this file and don't forget to include into the add menu action hook guys okay so just save this file and refresh this page once you refresh you could find that my book is now appearing underneath of this comment menu okay so this is how we have made make use of add menu page by making use of add menu page we have successfully added our menu section underneath of this comment section okay so we are going to use now add submenu page so just 
copy this name go to your editor and type add submenu page and what are the parameters that it expects from us just check out this documentation like parent slug so we want that in submenu that we are going to make into this my book is my book now appears as the parent slug for that so back to our editor let's say that the my book is now a parent for these submenus okay so just copy this slug name book list sorry parent slug in which parameter we have passed it's menu slug capability after capability manage options let me check we have passed or not okay if this is the slug just copy this name and pass into this first parameter okay this is the parent slug and the, now the next thing that we need to pass about page title okay and so let's say about book list okay and the next parameter is menu title it's also book list okay and capability capability is something called manage options okay and the next parameter is something called menu slug and something called my book list okay and finally the callback function the callback function is something called my book list so we have made a sub menu section by using this parents menu section okay so this is the menu section as parent and here is the slug that we have created of that like book list this slug we need to pass into the parent slug of this sub menu page okay and here are other details that we need to pass so let's save these changes and go to your browser and refresh your page once i refresh under this my book you could find about the my book and the book list okay so we don't want these two sections means as you can find like under going to pages pages does not appear into the list it has three different sub menus like all pages add new and general on going to post these all are the different sub menus of this post but hovering on our custom plugin we can find that my book is now appearing into this list again Okay, so how get we get rid of this the duplicacy of this name? Okay, so let's add another sub menu. Just make a copy of that and paste it here. So I am making another sub menu into this list, and here is the parent slug. Okay, and let's say it's add new. Let's say about add new. Okay, manage options. Next is my book list. Instead of my books list, let's say add new. Okay, and here is the callback function like my book add. Okay, my book add is the callback function of this submenu. So we have created two different submenus of this parent menu. Okay, so just save this file and refresh this page. Once page refresh just hover on our custom plugin, here you could find that instead of creating two submenus, we will get the three different submenus into this list. So we are now removing this my book section from this submenus list. Okay. So to get rid of that, we need to use that while passing the slug into the first submenu section. You need to keep in your mind that while making as you can find that into the slug section all these three that we have used has different slugs like book list my book list and add new these three slugs are different so to get rid of the duplicacy of this name from your list just you need to make sure that just copy this slug and make this slug with the same of any slug like my book list just remove this from here and save it here so i have made the same slug for our menu as well as the first sub menu section okay these two slugs are different i'm sorry same for now okay so just save this file and refresh this page once i refresh just hover this menu and you could find that two sub menus will appear okay that's good so to get rid of the duplicacy guys you need to keep in your mind that while using slug the slugs should be the same for uh, for your menu as well as your first sub menu that you have created like book list and the book list 
okay and the other menu has different slug no problem okay so this is how we can remove the duplicacy of our sub menu from this list okay so now let's define our callback function that we have defined just copy this name my book list go to this code and type function there is the function name and let's say echo this is how simple sorry this is our book list you say just save this file and let's define another callback function that we have made my book add just copy the name and let's say function my book add and let's say the statement like echo this is our book add menu sub menu sorry okay so just save this file and refresh your page once you refresh just i'm clicking on my book by clicking on my book it automatically redirects to the book list why because we have made the slug same for both my book has the same slug and book list has also the same slug so after clicking on my book it also redirects to the book list so let's take the default sub menus or menus that wordpress has provided just click on posts when we click on that then it redirects to the all post because these two have the same slug okay just click on media when i click on media then it automatically redirects to our library section because it has same slug so that's why we have made the same slug for both my book and the book list so right now we are on book list page okay so let's say add new this is our add new page okay how simple the callback functions are working so let's make our views file for these two callback functions okay so just go to views folder let's create a php file and say book list let's another views file and it should be like book add okay these two files i have created so let's just get rid of this statement and book list just within h4 tag let's type this statement and just get rid of this statement also and go to book add and within h4 tag just type the statement okay so now we are going to attach these two files that we have created with these callback functions okay so just get rid of that so attach these two php files that we have created with our callback function we will use the constant that we have defined something called dir path just copy this dir path and here you need to include php function to once paste the dir path and within views folder the book list is the file that we need to include okay so again i'm using like include funds by making use of our constant views within views folder and here is book add dot php file okay so we have added our php files within this callback function by making use of this constant that we have defined okay so just go into browser and refresh this page once you refresh then by going to book list it is calling to our book list page and within this add new we are calling to our add new page how simple it is okay so this is the section guys that we have covered in this video session okay we have added our plugin menus and we have added our plugin sub menus and also we have defined our callback functions attached with our another separate php files okay so step by step we are moving into our further step of our custom plugin development okay guys so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will be my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day